Hi, I'm Gabriel with Korg, and it's a pleasure to be here with Kraft Music to introduce you to one of the latest members of Korg's digital controller family, the world's first MIDI 2.0 capable controller. This is the Korg Keystage. Now for a great deal on Keystage 49 or 61, Korg ModWave, Op6, or WaveState, please check out the bundles at craftmusic.com. Now let's look at some of the key features. First of all, it comes in two different models, the 49 key and the 61 key. The features are exactly the same on both models. Super lightweight, 49 key is nine pounds, the 61 key is 11 pounds, great build quality, wooden side caps, extremely portable, and works at home in the studio as well. Now, MIDI 2.0 capabilities, this is groundbreaking. It's actually the world's first MIDI controller to include MIDI 2.0 capabilities. Now, if you're not familiar with what MIDI is, let me give you a quick history lesson. First of all, MIDI is an acronym. It stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. In the early 80s, the musical instrument industry standardized a language for keyboards to communicate with each other and send controller information. But up until now, this was only a one-way conversation. Where MIDI 2.0 is revolutionary is that it opens up that two-way communication. Other key features include nine dedicated LED screens. Now these display contextual information and combined with MIDI 2.0, what's so cool is that when you're using a soft synth that's compatible with MIDI 2.0 or hardware synth that's compatible with MIDI 2.0, it actually pushes the edit data right to the screens. Now I have the key stage connected to one of Korg's cool new modules, the ModWave Wavetable Synthesizer, MIDI 2.0 capable, of course. I've got two MIDI cables, MIDI in and out, going out of the key stage, out and in, to the back of the Korg Mod Wave. So essentially, the preset on the screen, Cassini, is mirrored on the key stage display. That's MIDI 2.0 in action. So let's check it out. On the front panel of Keystage is a transport control. Keystage is bundled with Live LE, which gets you right out of the gates for creating music and being your own producer. And when connected to Live LE, MIDI 2.0 really shines because you have access to your transport control right here. I can play, I can stop, I can record, I can actually switch tracks. Now I have Keystage connected via an included USB cable, USB-C right into my laptop, and I have basic parameter and editing functions that are mirrored in live. So I've pulled up an electric piano right here. and I have all the pertinent controller information to edit that right here. That's MIDI 2.0 in action. Before MIDI 2.0, you actually had to go in and assign each individual knob to control a parameter in a DAW. Speaking of DAWs, Keystage is actually compatible not only with Live, but all the major DAWs, whether you like Cubase or Pro Tools or Logic or FL Studio and so many more. In addition, you get the Core Gadget package with over 40 synths and drum machines and Wave State LE. It's a formidable package that'll get anyone going, whether you're a beginner or a professional. The second incredible thing about Keystage is that it has polyphonic aftertouch. Now, if you don't know what polyphonic aftertouch is, aftertouch essentially means that there's a second trigger after you depress a key on the keyboard that allows you to alter the tone. So when I play one note, if I dig in a little more. Now this is a revolutionary feature for a keyboard controller in this price range. You know, usually keyboards with aftertouch have channel aftertouch, which means it applies to the whole keyboard. But polyphonic aftertouch means that I can play a chord, not use aftertouch, 
implemented on one key. It's very cool. In addition, KeyStage has a built-in arpeggiator with 20 different patterns, and you can edit them from the front panel. There's also a dedicated chord mode with 32 different chord variations, and it's just as easy as playing one note. The third, which is a very cool feature, built-in audio interface. So if you have a laptop and you need an audio interface, KeyStage has got you covered. Now let's check out the back panel of the Core KeyStage. From left to right, we have the power button. We have the USB cable, which is how I'm connected to my laptop. Next to that, we have a quarter inch balanced headphone jack. And then we have the outputs for the audio interface. This is audio left and right out. And then next to that, we have the two controller jacks. So damper pedal for a sustain pedal. And it's important to note that key stage 49 and 61 includes support for half dampening pedals. Pedals that aren't just on off, but have 127 levels of sustain. Very cool feature. And then expression, which would be, let's say for a volume pedal. And then next to that are the two five pin MIDI jacks, MIDI in and out. Well, thank you for joining me on this whirlwind tour of the Korg Key Stage. And don't forget, if you're looking for a great deal, check out the bundles at craftmusic.com. And as always, don't forget to practice.